Good day everyone. On this video, I'll show you how to create a customized Linux distribution and create a live bootable USB out of that distribution. First step is to install the Linux OS you wish to customize. In my case, I installed Ubuntu 18.04 and then the second step you have to customize that uh, installations by adding or removing the softwares that you want to be part of it and then remove the applications that you don't want it to be there you can add software from your distribution using Ubuntu software. In my case, I would like to add Genome Chess. So, by opening Ubuntu software, I type Chess to search for application using Chess and then select Genome Chess, the one that I would like to install. Once it displays the genome chest, I click the install button. And then it will ask for the authentication. So type your username and password to proceed with the installation. So once completed, you're done adding that software to your distribution. Likewise, you could also remove an application using Ubuntu software. So to remove an application, go to the Install tab and locate the software you wish to remove or uninstall. In my case, I would like to remove the Solitaire application. So click Solitaire and then click Remove button. Then there's a pop-up and then click Remove button again to confirm. It will ask for a password uh, input your password and then click authenticate and then the removal process of that application would start once completed that software is already removed after you have finished customizing your OS go to terminal and connect to the internet and clone the distro share source code at github you can do it by typing the command get clone then https slash slash github.com slash distro share then slash this to share dash ubuntu dash 
imager dot get press enter key that's it after cloning the source code go to your distro share ubuntu imager folder and then give permission to the shell script so that it could be executed by by ubuntu you can do it by the command sudo chmod plus x and then distro share distro share dash ubuntu imager dot sh distro share ubuntu imager dot sh is the script that you would like to execute the next step is to update your ubuntu software by typing sudo apt update and then after that you do an upgrade sudo apt upgrade dash y the idea of updating your ubuntu os is for that it would be more latest than the current distribution that you have installed However, if you don't want a more later version, then you could opt to use uh, the same uh, OS base from the original distribution that you installed. And then the difference will be just the softwares that you have added and removed. Uh, on my case, uh, I want it to contain a more later uh, kernel, for example so that's why i did an update the next step is to run your imager by typing sudo dot slash dot distro share dash ubuntu dash imager dot sh the purpose of this script is to create an ISO file. We will use this file later on to create a live USB bootable. This is what the screen looks like after creating the ISO file. The output file is saved at slash home slash distro share and the file name is live dash cd dot iso. Insert the USB drive that you would like to make into bootable and then type the following commands dd if equal live dash cd dot iso of equal slash dev slash sdb bs equals 1m that command will create and ISO bootable USB this is the resulting screen 
after executing the DD command to create the USB bootable. Insert the bootable USB that we have just created to a PC where we would like to install the new created ISO image. Press F12 to select the bootable option and then select the USB drive to boot to the USB. Choose the live Ubuntu. The Ubuntu OS that we have just uh, customized will be loaded without installing. It is just the live version of the customized OS that we have created from the USB. So this is it. This is the live USB version of the customized image that we have just created. If you would like to install, click the install icon and that will install the live image into your computer. Uh, the normal installation procedures would follow, so just follow the screen. However, the latest version of DistroShare is not updated lately and the latest Ubuntu software or versions are not maintained properly. Like this 18.04 that I have, it would create a crash during installation. However, it's good for older versions. Thank you.